What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in to Stock Essentials. Today we're going to be going over some pretty big news with Orphazyme stock, ticker symbol ORPH. Now if you're new here, please consider subscribing and hit that like button. We make videos daily on stocks and options on the hottest stocks in the market. Uh, so right now we're going to be going over Orphazyme stock, which is down 50% today. Pretty big day for the stock. Um, and they're tanking on some pretty bad news. Um, they actually had their drug treatment rejected by the FDA. Um, it was the uh, FDA rejection of arimoclomo, Arim which is a treatment for the genetic disorder neiman pick disease type C, uh, and it didn't get approved. So it's pretty bad news for the stock. Um, but and they've had a pretty rough life cycle. Um, all these dips here are rejections for their drug treatments. So it's not looking too good for this company. And it's plunging because their expected revenue is going to be a lot lower. And the company is going to have to cut costs even further um, based on this uh, revenue prediction. So pretty bad news for the stock. We're pretty bearish on it. Um, but the good news is that it's almost back to all-time lows. Um, it hit lows of around 4 or $5 a share, uh, and we're sitting at $7 a share right now. So if you are bullish on the stock, now would be a good time to buy the dip. Uh, and if we check out the options chain, we can see that there's some pretty cheap call options that uh, you should be eyeballing. Um, I wouldn't do anything for July 16th. There's no catalyst coming up. You're probably going to be wasting your money buying anything on July 16th. Um, so I would recommend maybe the furthest expiration date, January 21, 2022, uh, grab some call options for the stock. A $10 call option will cost you $280. A 7.5 strike would cost you $320. Uh, and I would probably recommend going all the way up to at most $15 strike for $218. Uh, but I would probably, if I were to buy a call option for the strike, uh, I would buy a $10 call option for $280 premium uh, just to be a little bit safer or even the 7.5. Uh, I want to be closer to the stock price. Uh, I don't want to be a little bit risky and buy any of these strike prices. I don't think like a $40 strike price would be pretty reasonable. Um, but if you want to buy shares of stock, now would be a good time. It's down 50% today. Uh, it could drop even lower, so uh, keep that in mind. But right now, it's sitting at a pretty low price point. So if you are bullish on the stock, now would be a good time to grab some shares, some pretty cheap shares for a nice little discount. Um, and if you want, you could also sell cash secured puts on the stock. Like the stock price is pretty cheap. So selling cash secured puts, you don't really need too much collateral. Something like a $5 strike for $38 of premium. That's around a 7% return uh, on your money. Um, expiring for next month so in one month seven percent return it's not a crazy amount but it's also not that small of amount because remember the average return in the stock market is around 10 to 12 percent uh, per year uh, and you're making seven percent in one month uh, assuming that the stock price stays above five dollars uh, if the stock price goes below five dollars you're gonna buy 100 shares at $5 each, which is the literal all-time lows of the stock. So that could be a good investment. If you have $5,000 of cash, you could buy, you could sell 10 of this, these contracts and you will receive $300, $350 of premium, 7% return on your money. Not that bad for one month of holding it. Um, if you want, you could do an August 20th, but that's a little bit too far out. Um, and if you're pretty bullish on it, you could even do the 7.5 strike. So as long as it stays above $7.50, you're going to be making $170 premium. Uh, if it goes below that, um, you're going to be buying 100 shares at 7.5 each. Um, your break even is $5.80. So uh, anything below $5.80 on the stock price, you're going to be losing a little bit of money. Uh, so the $5 strike is going to be a little bit safer uh, since your break even is going to be four dollars and 62 cents um because if the stock price goes below that your cost basis is now going to be four dollars and 62 cents due to the premium you're going to be receiving which is 38 dollars right here which is not that bad uh, so that's about it for this video it helped in any way i uh, gave you what my thoughts are on the stock it's at a pretty good dip um i i expect it to remain flat for a while there's not many catalysts coming up 
but if some catalysts come up uh, randomly, this stock could go absolutely flying. So now is a really good dip to buy. Comment down below if you're going to be buying this stock, and subscribe if you're new here to the channel. Helps out a lot. Thanks for watching.